there are so many different parts to this situation with Corey and Danny. Now, previously, I reported that Danny exposed Corey's account numbers as well as his social security number. Now, Corey is pressing charges on Danny because his account is negative $10,000 after people have been using his numbers. Danny, I just want to be the first person to let you know that you're going to jail. You posted this man's banking information and people was paying all types of shit on here. So far, his account is negative almost $11,000. I just really want to know, as a millionaire, where did you think you was going with this? Did you really think you were going to get far posting this man's social, his bank account information, phone numbers, addresses, all of that shit? Like you really said, he released my shit. He doxed me, so I'm going to dox him times 10. But because I'm a millionaire and I think I'm smart, I'm going to get away with this. Then people in the comment section and shares talking about how they done bought cell phones they done order shit with this nigga name and that shit could have been made up and make believe or whatever the case is but the subject of the matter is where the fuck did you think you was gonna go with this where the fuck where did you think you was going with this like at this point yo like i said i wasn't even gonna choose sides but i think i'm about to i think i'm about to choose sides like it ain't even because of the relationship it's because of how you handling this shit like you you doing too much i i really feel like you know what you know what nope 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 i'm gonna stay neutral i'm not gonna choose sides because you might come to your senses and start doing what you need to do to to get the results you trying to get but Corey, if you're watching this like i told you when i text you you need to call the police on this bitch hands down it's one thing to be playing with somebody you know putting videos of them and da -da -da, doing all that other shit but when it get personal and you start affecting real people lives like this is the type of shit that danny do this is shit oh i'm gonna file your taxes and then keep your fucking money really affecting people's lives this social media shit we all do this shit you get what i'm saying we all do the social media shit we all make money but when you get on here and all this shit start to pour over into real life this nigga credit being messed with all of this like come on bro then you you be out here calling calling me everything but the child of fucking god if i decided to go ahead and post your social post your kids socials and shit i got all that shit could have been no i couldn't have because you ain't got shit in your fucking bank accounts let's just keep it a bean let's just keep it a book all your bank accounts don't take no money i was just gonna record the shit so i could play it on the internet but do with that information what you will your ass broke as fuck but you would feel some type of way if a motherfucker was doxing and putting your social security number out there what you gonna say well i got my shit locked you ain't got no fucking credit but anyways, Corey, call the police on the bitch. You're going to have to call her out there to Houston and let them go get her. Send her ass to that Megadome and let's see how long she's going to survive in there. So Danny states, let me tell y'all something. I'm way more smarter than what y'all think I am. If he press any charges on me, he know I got something on him that'll send him straight to the feds. And I'm not the type to run to the police. Besides that, I'll round up all of those people. People that he scam from that car raffle and have them show proof that they paid for those tickets, then I'll handle the rest because I have a full recording of him setting up the whole play. I went back and watched the cameras at the back of my house while they were negotiating. I am not the one to play police games with. See, I got the proof. Y'all can call me a scammer all day, but the same way I showed you that picture of Britney signing that client's tax refund show me proof of me actually scamming so therefore i'll move smooth if i was you ssg because i'll have charges on you in all 50 states please leave me alone and stop teaming up with people spreading lies about me last warning y'all y'all don't hear this from me on my soul but they talking about danny going to jail because she exposed Corey. I just woke up, and I'm looking at all the tea. You know I got to tell y'all the tea before I even get my day started. With my messy ass. But look, though, they said that she ended up exposing that boy's social security number, and they, she ended up exposing that boy's bank account. Said he had negative 10000 in his bank account. Matter of fact, she said he was so broke that she ended up having to give him a, a, a to-do list. He couldn't buy shit. So she just said, here, go run these errands for me. Now, that's fucked up. Man, I, I, <laughs> but no, a to-do list is crazy, bro. She said she got that nigga a to-do list for the crib. Oh, bro, that shit crazy, nigga. Oh, God. But come on now. I feel like she knew what the fuck was going on. She knew all of that shit. Birds of a feather flock together. Who rock together that knock together that slot together on my soul. 
But what y'all think? How y'all feel about this? So now I also spoke on these messages that Denny posted of her speaking to Floyd. Now, some people were confused on how those messages got out from Danny and Boogie. Well, Corey actually had access to Danny's phone and he's the one that sent those messages to Sherelle, the girl that's exposing Danny. But anyways, this message that Danny sent to Floyd who is Carmen's manager states, yes, she lied. And every time Corey tried to harm Carmen, just like Brittany encouraged him to call CPS on her two weeks, I politely called you and told you to let Carmen be aware because that's dirty. So again, she's speaking here on how Corey called CPS on Carmen. Well, Carmen has responded. She states, people weird and evil keep me out the mix. So this situation had nothing to do with Carmen and Boogie, but they were brought into it because Corey released those messages. And then Danny is stating that Corey threatened to call CPS on Carmen. Now Carmen is stating, hey, look, this is a weird situation. Leave me out of it. I don't have anything to do with it. Now, Danny has been on multiple podcasts speaking about this situation. And I will say there is a lot going on. Now, not only is Corey and Brittany exposing her, also her partner that she had with the Peach Cobbler Factory out in Dallas is now speaking out on her as well because Corey reached out to her and let her know that Danny has been talking a lot of crap behind her back. So now Danny is looking to stop doing business with that partner that she has at the Peach Cobbler Factory. Now there's just so many sides to this story like I stated, but Corey is being relatively quiet because he's exposing all of his information through Sherelle. Now that friend or ex-friend of Danny's, Brittany, is also teaming up with Corey. She even posted a photo of her car that he wrapped in green and stated big SSG shit. Now you guys know that this car is allegedly being repossessed and they're trying to change it all up, change up the colors so the people who owns the car won't recognize it but Danny isn't going for that because she's sending them pictures and letting them know exactly where this car is so Corey can get this car taken away from him now Danny is claiming that the plan was is for Corey to ride around in this car for a few months and then auction it off but he wasn't really gonna auction the car off he was just gonna pocket the money like Danny is claiming that he did with all of those other raffles but anyways you guys leave your opinions on everything in this video down in the comment section below